Alicia actual play. Having handled the drug deal gone wrong in the basement garage, the Internal Affairs Division heads upstairs in search of the elusive mystery comlink and cyberdeck. Horatio invites some people to get slushed. Improv shows us how a STEM program benefits Shadowrunners. Juliet confuses us all by having some success with non-lethal ammunition. And Kennel makes a tough decision immediately before becoming K.E.'s favorite person ever. It's time to begin episode 14, Let Em Bleed, Just Like Our Brothers. IAD, you're under arrest! IAD? Internal Affairs Division. Oh. <laughs> uh, roll me a con check? Juliet's Along cackling with... out over the DNI. And they're Along probably out loud. an intimidation check. All right, so the con would fast talk apply to this? No. Okay. This is just for them to believe you. I love this. Okay, that's three hits on the con. And just for the record, I am using the vo the uh, vocal modulator that I have, the voice modulator, to increase my volume to like loudspeaker volumes. Okay, well, they believe that you might be internal affairs, but are they going to stand down? Oh, God. Oh, decisions. That JPEG. Eh, eh. Screw it, I'll spend the edge. Well, um, hold up here. You, oh. you actually should have some bonuses. Oh, my apologies. They're outnumbered, so that's a plus two. You have hurt them, another plus two. You are an intimidating individual, another plus two. <laughs> I think that's all for intimidation. Okay, so that would be six extra dice. Would you like me just to re-roll that or just roll six dice? Yeah, just re-roll. So that'll bring me up to 11 dice. Are you kidding me to hit? No, no, no. We're going we're gonna to edge that. That's a lot of fours and twos. That's, it's all fours and twos. That is BS. I'm going to edge it. All right, six hits. And I can keep all those. Okay, the Nitro guy and the other guy who popped the Nitro, he's holding his neck. He's like, internal... Uh, he's like, fine, fine! And he, he sets down his, his pistol as he gets on his knees. The other guy who is holding his SMG that he has yet to be able to fire throws it off to the side, hands her up. Uh, that will be their turn. So, improv. Uh, well, I guess I'll drop the suppression. And uh, I guess... Looking around the area, is there anything other than the elevator that looks like it can go up? Make me an observant detail. Yep. Oh boy. Let's 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 see how this goes. What? What is up with the rolls, man? That's no hit. Am I able? <laughs> Depending on the size of this area, could I have made an e-war for my radar sensor? Because I got the radar sensor. Uh, that would also be a another thing that you can do. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna try. The simple that. action to use it. Well, I think it's actually a simple action to interpret what it sends. I think it's how it actually works. There does appear to be a staircase that leads upwards. All right, um, knock these guys out. Just, 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 just like punch them in the face, and then, and then we gotta move before they like set up a kill zone up there. The guy who's got who's got the <laughs> the neck wounds. He's like, ah, can one of you at least fix this before I bleed out over here? We don't, oh, guys, guys, we don't have time. We gotta move. What if what if we need a no. password or something? Let him bleed, just like our brothers. Look, I told you I don't... This is all over DNI, mind you. Uh, I told you I don't do cops. What if we need a password? Or, you know, they, they got reinforcements upstairs of some dreck. Ransom? Yeah, we can then use we kill them. too. And Juliet's jogging along behind Improv in the meantime. Uh, so I will use some plastic restraints, and I will uh, tie them each up. Yo, any of you got a Band-Aid for this sucker's neck? I got some gel rounds, and then I'll shoot the guy with gel rounds. Uh... <laughs> Kennel will try to interject himself, not with Nitro Dude, but with the other guy, the uh, the one that never actually got to fire. So you can shoot the hell out of Nitro Dude. That Kennel doesn't really care if you're just knocking him out. But oh, the, yeah, yeah, he, him. yeah, he goes down. So, he, had, he had two boxes left. With, it's okay, they're just plastic. <laughs> with the other guy, uh, Kennel is actually going to uh, give him like a love tap to the gut, and he'll pull out one of his knives and put it underneath his chin. What's upstairs? Wait, you're not internal... <sighs> <sighs> no, we're Baron's internal affairs, yo. Then he looks uh, at Kettle and, and like nods sympathetically, and then winks. Juliet's snickering over the DNI. and I. Uh, Kettle will give you a because he doesn't know how this shit works. He'll give you a left-handed salute. Good job, uh, Captain. And he'll look back at the cop who is currently zip tied with a knife under his chin. What's upstairs, pig? There's 15 other guys up there. Uh, but we also got a yeah. There's just 15 other guys up there. Kennel's going to take the knife and bring it down to crotch level. You sure about that? 
Because I can make it one less guy down here. Uh, Roll me another intimidation check with an extra plus two. (laughs) So it's one to four. Okay. Really? One hit? I... This, My table does not like you today. <laughs> God, this is a repeat of last night, man. This is rough. Me and parking garages. I'm going to get a phobia of this shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm sure. He's like up on his tiptoes trying to slowly back away. Yeah, there's just there's just 15 guys. We can, they, they we can take them. The armor. I, I don't know. We were just we were just here to, to help clear out people and start the evacuation. That's all we were doing. Uh, with Please. three hits on a judge intentions, does he seem to be telling the truth or lying? He's telling the truth, but not the whole truth. Uh, Kennel's going to pass this over DNI to uh, the rest of the team since Juliet and Improv went running up. Yo, dude's claiming they're 15 up there, but I don't know. He keeps talking yeah, that... about evacuation or some dreck. Well, yeah, but that doesn't matter. What we need to do is, is, is kill as many of them as we can while they're still in small groups because they're going to be spread out all over the place. But if all 15 are together, we're going to die. Did Julia and I see anybody as we ran up the stairs? Uh, not yet. I'm going to pulse my radar to see if I can find groups of people. And Juliet's reloading. Oh, I'll do that too. And, and then he'll reload into the, the deadly ammo. Well, while they are doing that stuff, Kennel is going to use his, uh, his crime gloves. And he is going to tase this sucker right in the nuts so he gets knocked out. <laughs> and Kennel is going to start looting uh, pistols... These obviously, you know, the obvious is these aren't real cops. So he's just going to take all their guns and throw them in the bed of the truck. And that's what he'll be doing while uh, everybody else is doing the shooties upstairs. Oh, can I have one of your grenades first? Uh, he will give you a either a flashbang or a CS grenade, whichever you prefer. Or a pepper punch grenade, excuse me. You don't have any real ones, do you? No. Oh, I... no, I'm supposed to shoot him in the neck. Never mind. We'll take a flashbang. All right, that is my last flashbang. So I have uh, two CS grenades left, I believe. While we're running up the stairs, we'll hit ourselves with an antidote patch. Okay. Improv, as, as you're moving up, <laughs> there appears to be... Uh, they're not in a large group yet. They're uh, the people that you can see. There's only like three or four of them together at a time. Okay. Uh, what is the nearest group of three or four? Uh, that would be on the ground floor. There's two that are standing by the elevator shaft, and then two more that are watching the stairs. All right, well, I guess uh, I guess we're going to have to move fast, Juliet, because uh, if two of these groups get together, we're in a lot of trouble. I mean, I'm on uh, commie, so I'm literally just going to charge at that group and then shoot somebody. Yeah, G is a group. They're taking cover. And where are the stairs on this map? Uh, the hastily <laughs> scribbled purple blob. Lighter purple is the elevator. The darker purple is stairs, at least the ones you're going up. All right, well, Juliet and I are moving immediately to uh, engage the first group. All right. We gotta, because uh, we gotta, we 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 can't let them join forces. That that'll that'll be re- that'll be really bad. That would just be silly. The center is mostly empty. If you guys remember, it's mostly like an empty atrium where there you where there's like a gnarled tree grow, trying to grow up to the top. Oh yeah, roll initiative, please. Uh, of course, ten. Ah, uh, your passes. Yes, yeah, gonna suck. Oh boy. Oh man, you rolled very poorly. Yep. Like lower than statistically. That's lame. I, I just would like to reiterate, I, I absolutely hate damage modifiers. I'd be still at 11 oh, if it wasn't. Us. I, I, well, I, the problem is I got a plan. I got something I want to do, but... Horatio? Uh-oh. 20. Improv? 20. Juliet? 16. Kennel? 10. Now, obviously you guys have a higher initiative than they do, so two of you can go first. I think only Juliet and I are the ones initially right there, correct? Yes. Uh, Horatio is going to have to use pretty much all of his movement to get up there. Or use some of his movement to get up there. What kind of weapons do these people have? Just using a radar sensor, it's hard to tell. Because a radar sensor is not super detailed. But can't I see them if, 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 if it's the group we're engaging? Because they're running okay, so, so, so you're coming out. Okay, you are coming out of the stairway then. I have to. If I mean, I mean, if we get bottled up in the stairway, they're just going to suppress the entrance. We can't have that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. They all appear to have SMGs. They're wearing security armor. If you want to know that. Oh shit. Okay. Uh. Oh boy, that's going to suck. All right. Uh, yeah, that's, that's why the previous guys were rolling so high. And how many of them can I see? Uh, you can see four. You know two are there, or you know four are there, but there's two that you can actively see. Okay, are they all in cover? Yes. 
All right. Well, then I will also take cover and I'll try and kill one. Now, just to make sure I understand this, the purple rectangle is the elevator, is that lift from the bottom going up. The yes. uh, squiggles on the left are is the, the stairwell coming up. And where the G is, that's one group of the cops, or that's all of them? That is just one group. Okay, and we don't see the other two groups? Improv knows where they're at, but they still appear to be trying to get organized. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, that's an SFA of one of the dudes. Three hits. And these guys have their helmets on, the other guys. You hit him, you don't see a blood splatter coming out the back. Uh, you just see his shoulder duck as he drops back into cover once again. Horatio, Juliet, or Kennel? Um, I will happily take last position on this one since I'm still downstairs. Juliet will take her turn to start spraying improved suppression. How many can she hit with what, that type of cone? You'll be able to hit two, though they are in cover. Okay. But the gray center ring that actually has the border, that's all a hallway that you can follow. If you come up against this doorway right here, you could definitely shoot inside. Eh, four hits. It's something. It's not going to cause any damage because they are in cover. But just make sure they don't peek their heads out. Yeah, they're not going to be able to do a whole lot of return fire. These are KE Fraggers number one, considering there's four of them. You see an arm come out as he throws a canister in your direction. Oh, let's hope his accuracy is garbo. It lands, but he wasn't aiming for... Uh, oh, wait, I forgot forgot about the suppression. Hee 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 hee. Okay. Uh, oh, that's right. He glitches. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, he throws it in your direction, but his buddy is trying to take a peek out. And like as he leans out to, um, to shoot, uh, he gets hit in the back of the head with the canister as it lands... <laughs> as it lands back inside of where they are. Did, did it make that cool, like, two coconuts colliding to each other sound? I can't, I pic, I'm picturing more like a ladder version of the, the Newton swing. <laughs> uh, that's his turn. <laughs> the other guy is going to pick it up and just try and get rid of it. He doesn't throw it at you guys. He's just, like, he's throwing it out into the atrium just to get it to get it away from them. If memory serves, I think that's just a straight agility for the right. The right back at you is just a straight agility check to see if you can grab it, and then the throwing test. That's right. Well, throwing test, it's decent enough for him to get it <laughs> where he wants it to go. I just want it. Just, yeah, just away. Well, he 3d6. But Sarlacc is right. He does have to roll to pick it up. Okay, so yeah, he, he picks it up and throws it off of, off of the platform down into the main atrium, like just off into the main atrium area, away from anywhere of consequence. The other two from where they are, you can hear them moving from the area that they are in. Yeah, you hear them spreading out. All right, hopefully, uh, ooh, I wonder if they're exerting themselves, giving themselves, giving themselves some fatigue damage. Sec armor! Yeah. Oh, maybe. boy. That's always the thing. Oh, boy. The other two groups, you don't see them, and they're not currently shooting at you. So that would go to either Horatio or Kennel. Yeah, we will hand that one over to Horatio. All right, so we're going to run up the stairs uh, and use as much arm movement as we can uh, to catch up to Juliet and uh, Improv, if possible. If we see anyone, we're going to shoot at them. Uh, if you use your, all of your movement, you can see the two that are being suppressed. We're going to blast one of them with the CFA, all the while screaming, Get slushed! Wow, okay. The luckiest KE officer ever. Uh, what's the damage code? 14 oh, AP. Okay, and then eight, AP no AP. Zero. Uh, Julia, you got to talk me into getting that wonderful APDS. I would not mind. The guy who keeps, every time he leans out, seems to be getting hit by something. You hit him in the shoulder, and you see him uh, fall over. Not quite in, into the suppression area, but he definitely lands on his back, and he's clutching at his chest from where he's been hit the last two times. So, Kennel, it's your turn. All right. Yo, you all got this. Just keep on them triggers. Remember, aim for the neck so you don't kill no one. And uh, with three hits, that is a plus one to their initiative. I'm doing the uh, leadership rally action. Wait, aim for the neck so you don't kill them? Yeah. How does that make sense? Because <laughs> improv is smart, and improv told us you have to shoot them in the neck. So we're like, okay, and everybody knows that Kennel won't kill cops. So clearly if you shoot them in the neck, they don't die. I mean, that other guy got shot twice in the neck, and he gave up. So, you know, it's some kind of, like, sciency doctor shit, you know? Okay. The two KE who are up here, one is not moving, and he's on the floor. The other one 
is still in cover. Okay. Uh, but there's still three in this group of four, right? Yes. Well, I'm going to shout, toss a bomb! So who wants to go? Th this can be any of you. It doesn't have to be, well, except for Kennel Kennel's out of initiative. That's right, you have throwing weapons? I do, but I don't think you gave me a bomb. No, you said uh, a flashbang, so you got my last flashbang. Oh, okay. Flashbang's oh. not going to do anything to these guys, not in that armor. Yeah. Our, our only hope is that they're moving so slow that it takes some time for to uh, get together. So we just need to we just need to take them out quick, because uh, a flashbang against security armor isn't going to do shit. That's kind of what I figured. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of full autos here. Yeah. So yeah, until until Kennel gets up here with the bombs, uh, we're going to um, be doing some work. So yeah, just 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 shoot the mans, I guess. Yeah. Are you have the amount of successes? Oh yeah. There's going to be a lot more fighting to come. I'm probably going to be using all mage to blitz anyway. <laughs> he rolled like crap. Yay. Yay. So, improv you, uh, the one that's still up, the one that was, <laughs> that originally threw the grenade and hit his buddy in the back of the head. You see him uh, going to pull out his gun, and you hit him, and you actually knock him on his back. Nice. Uh, he's, he's still moving around, trying to crawl away from the suppressive fire that Juliet has been laying down, but he's he's still mobile. Juliet's just retaining that suppressive fire, so whoever else wants to go, go for it. Okay, that'll be me then. We're gonna we're gonna take aim at that guy. <laughs> Are you gonna shoot him in the neck? <laughs> okay, good. And then it's. Brap. I swear, pickle. These guys are earning their paycheck with those rolls. <laughs> they really are. Apparently, my dots are on fire tonight. That's still seven feet. That's not. It's still enough to knock him out. It doesn't. Again, it doesn't kill him. As he's crawling, like you see, it, like you you walk it up him, like you start from like his stomach and work it up with work it work it <laughs> work your way up to his face. Uh, where it connects with his visor, and you see his head snap back real hard as he goes motionless. Feels good, man, Dot JPEG. Yep. At this point, in this wall right here, a hole appears in the wall. Well, a hole followed by a hafted weapon of some sort, followed by a barrel that comes out and pulls down the trigger in all of in your direction. Is this suppressive fire? Yes, it is. Is it some improved suppression? No. It barely has enough enough of an angle to just suppress you guys in the hole in this area. All right. These guys already had helmets on, yes? I've not been rolling them for having helmets. Okay. At least thematically, we've seen them hold, already have, having helmets on. Yes. Like at the yes. Okay. I've, I not suppose giving, I've not been giving them the stats for it, but yeah. I suppose Juliet will have to... I forget, can you make any, take any actions when you're prone? Yeah, you can still do everything. It's just certain things you have a negative for. Okay. She is going to drop prone. Just a reaction. Is that... I forget. Does that reduce initiative? No. Okay. She's going to do You're just that. on the ground. That'll interrupt her suppression, of course, but it will. Other groups, they can't see you here, they're not, so they're not going to shoot at you. So yeah, the other, the other groups are doing something nefarious. No, not allowed. Juliet. She's going, she's dropped prone, so she's going to take a free action to wirelessly eject her current clip. A simple action to slam a new clip in. Simple full auto, a uh, set of rounds just straight through the hole. These are pepper punch rounds. Oof, okay. <laughs> that sucks. Make me the roll. She doesn't care about hitting anybody with these. She just wants to actually get the pepper punch into that wall. The far side, that is. Now, this is capsule round, so it only, like, if you hit them, it only affects the people that you hit. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Still, where it works. The guy's right outside the hole on the other side, anyway, so I love contact. Uh, so, yeah, you definitely hit him. Uh, what's the damage for capsule rounds? Uh, AP plus four, damage minus four. So, this is base damage six, AP plus two. Is the base damage was six? Yes. Okay, yeah, you hit him, and you, you hear him grunt. It doesn't hurt him too bad. He's keeping up the suppressive fire. But Wait you, you see, you see the, yeah, you see the spray of the red pop up on him. And that would leave Improv and Horatio. We're going to keep up the fire uh, as we as we move, far, uh, move forward, because uh, that's what they do in the trids. Okay, uh, you only fire one bullet as your clip slips from your, ma uh, as your magazine slides from your uh, gun. Oh, no! Evil hacker. Uh, see, that's that's six p. 
right? Yep, correct. Well, well, six stun. Uh, as you fire through the hole, you, you hear the guy uh, yell in pain as, and followed by a thump on the ground, and the suppressive fire stops. I am really curious as to how oh, much that... And Horatio, you are getting alert that there has been an attempt to hack your comm link. Not technomancers. Uh, I'm up now? Yep. Uh, so there's, so how many guys here are dead versus wounded? You haven't seen anybody bleeding profusely, so, so far it doesn't appear that anybody is dead. Do any of them look unconscious? At least two. Then I'm going to shoot one of the ones who is not unconscious. Okay, uh, that means you'd have to get up at the hole and shoot into it. Uh, sure, can I move up and use a simple action to take cover beside the hole? Oh yeah, definitely. All right, yeah, I'll do that. This works both ways. (laughs) Oh, minus, sorry. Uh, take two of those away. Okay. So because he's not in cover, so he doesn't get the dodge for being in cover. So I have two net hits or one net hit. Uh, two net hits. Okay. You you hit him. You don't see any blood splatter or anything like that. But the guy, as you hit him, falls on his back as he's scrambling for some sort of a weapon. Okay. And that actually puts everybody at zero because I forgot to put you guys at one. So reroll initiative. I've got to invest in some kind of initiative enhancement. That's that's rough. Improv. 32. Horatio? Uh, 33. Juliet? 19. So close. Kennel? Oh, God, only eight. Oh, God. Oof. Yeah. Bad initiative, Kennel. Oh, God, I know. That's why I don't like cram. Oh, I haven't had a chance to take any because I was... I, I was thought we were going to do the handoff and then sneak away, and I was worried that it would wear off before we actually got to do the hit, and... Yeah. Okay, so two of you get to go. Let's let the commie person go first. Okay, uh, that guy that I shot is not is is uh, still active, correct? Yes, he uh, definitely appear- he's struggling for something on his belt. We're going to shoot him again. Oof, that's going to suck. You shoot him, it doesn't seem to, to punch his armor, but he quits moving at least. All right. Uh, give me just a second, please. Did Horatio yell yet that he just took... Uh, Matrix Assault? No, I yelled Frag. Ah. Who wants to go next? That was improv. Uh, Juliet? Oh, why the heck not? The, the guy that she shot is now down, yes? Yes. All the active combatants down here seem to be down. Okay. She is not going to go further up the stairs. She's going to turn around and go back down on the base of the stairwell, gun at the ready, and peer around to see if anybody else is down there. Because she's uh, paranoid. Downstairs? Yes. Downstairs uh, is where we came from. Yeah, uh, we're going. Did we go up the stairwell or the elevator? You went up stairwell. the stairs. Okay. Yeah, she's paranoid. She's going to double check our six. You see Kennel. Oh yeah, he was on there. Oh, I'm an idiot. Mm-hmm. Mm, I guess she's going to be. Look... Did she see any other exits when she surveyed the garage a while back? Exits, entrances, that sort of thing. Aside from the garage door that we drove in through. Uh, none that were immediately obvious, no. Okay. Yeah. So far, what had been passed around the team is that there was the door we came in, which is the bottom level of the garage. There's the elevator, and then there were the stairs. And after everything went down in the uh, in the basement level, if you will, the parking garage level, that's when the three of you took off running for the stairs. And Kennel has been handling things downstairs and did a little bit of leadershiping down on the uh, the last turn. And All right. the the north side is the garage side, just so you know. In that case, she'll be just be switching back to gel rounds as she goes back up to where Horatio is. Okay. Horatio, your comm link once again buzzes that it is currently being hacked. Nothing I can do about it at the moment, so that's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Something nefarious is going on, so I can actually get rid of KE Fraggers. One. So that leaves Juliet. Well, that leaves either Improv or Kennel. Would you mind if I went? By all means, please do. I haven't gone yet either. Oh, I'm is sorry. Movement considered a free action. Movement's Keep movement separate from actions. Oh wait, Horatio, you haven't gone yet? No. Yeah, so far we so started off. Juliet, Juliet was, my was bad. going first. Ah, okay. bad. Uh, Juliet and Improv, I believe, had taken actions. Yeah. Is that okay. right? Well, in that sense, in that case, I guess Juliet will just use up a bit of her remaining movement to pull out her endoscope and peek around the next corner in the second floor. Roll me a observe in detail then. Oh, there we go. She. Oh, wow. Yeah, you see everything. 
Do you have small unit ta- small unit tactics? She does. Could you roll me that, please? Sure thing. Yeah, that's all you need to identify it. The people who are up there, they're all in areas that are overlooking the hallway through here. Like they can see inside it. Uh, whoever's walking through there would be like at, at best at half cover, like it's waist high. They're all set up in a crossfire positions. Lovely. As well as where somebody can watch the the stairwell and the the elevator. So, Mr. Jim, are you saying that they're clustered around the elevator here? No, they are not clustered. I, I mean, this ahead. this general area, like the the southern part of the map. I don't suppose you could put them on the map. I was I was just about to. Thank you. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Because basically, the idea at this point is to uh, put a bomb on the floor yes. underneath them. Yes, you read my mind. Because we can't go up those stairs. We're going to get fucking annihilated. There's no way. Regardless of Juliet's in character feelings, I love improv so much out of character. <laughs> Bombs, man. Oh, it's like this. Yes. Yes, so much. Explosives are how you uh, win close close fights. They are set up in that, in that general direction. Uh, there are eight of them that are spread out and concentrating on all of this. All right. They're fully spread out. Okay. Is there is there one area in specific where you could catch multiple of them with 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 the big bomb? If you wanted to throw it up there, you could probably catch two of them pretty easily. That being said, you could always collapse. <laughs> you could always collapse the area that they're standing on. Yeah, that was the idea. Um, is that something? Uh, how how many would we catch if we did that? I would need a demolitions check to know that. Luckily, luckily, I've been raising that a little bit. If it's okay with you guys, like, we'll just say this is an out of initiative. Like, you guys are taking a minute to draw up a plan as far as like, how you want to do this. Okay. And we'll just save initiative how we have it. In that case, he'll uh, to roll again. reload his clip and then go wireless dark. Be like, they got a hacker. Shoot okay. him in the neck so we can get the deck. Improv using the big bomb, you could easily take down two of them. Clumps about half of the walkway above you. But that would be just one level. There's two levels here that they're standing on. Because you're like you're just on the first floor currently. Question. Uh, I want to use a knowledge skill here uh, that she has. She has she has engineering. What okay. I want to do is see that because uh, you said this area was open, correct? The center area is mostly open. Yes. Yeah. So if you throw a bomb up to the second level, can we engineer a collapse on a walkway on the top level that then falls onto the walkway below it, causing structural failure on that walkway and collapsing it as well? Uh, do you have any sort of mathematics skill? I have engineering. Oh, yeah, definitely roll that then. Okay. Are you happy with that amount of successes? I'm probably going to need to do a demolition thing to actually figure out the exact right place, so yeah. Okay. It's definitely doable. There doesn't appear to be a whole lot of structural support for the walkway itself. It's like it was built more like a balcony, mm-hmm. uh, at, like a balcony open area. So it's hard to say if you could get enough, if you just blew up the balcony to get it to get enough to drop to break what's below it. But if you blew a part of the wall that it's attached to, as well as what's above it, gives you a much higher chance of success. All right. Then what, then what improv is going to say is, Kennel, you're probably going to get shot, but you have to lean out and toss the bomb right there. Uh, and I'm assuming if we do that, Mr. Jim, that'll also make like kind of like a ramp for us to move up as well, because this thing has now collapsed. Would that You'd be definitely correct? have to be climbing rubble. You'd have to climb rubble. It wouldn't be the video it game be, ramp. Be, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so, uh, so, so I think what we do is we prepare ourselves near the stairs, right? You toss that, it blows up, and then we just charge, because that's the, that's the um, distraction. And it would at least break the crossfire, because now the men establishing the crossfire have been crushed by rock and concrete. All you hear over the comms in response is, <laughs> oh, as he does a, a line of Nova Coke. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. They're, 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 they're going to be, like, preparing. We got to move. Oh, maybe I should run out first so they shoot at me. Sure, sounds good. <laughs> all right, just tell me when and I'll do it. Well, we prepare for Kennel. He's the one who has to make the throw. Okay, so where exactly am I throwing that? So, so did you come up the stairs finally? I will. I'm okay. happy to do that. See, my, my original plan was I was going to load up all the boom in the elevator and just send the elevator up for one of those awesome, like, you know, John McClane style, the elevator opens and there's 100 pounds of C4 that goes off and all the German terrorists get blown up. But that's not going to work now. So uh, I will have grabbed all of the stuff to include that shotgun that the uh, one totally not a cop had. And I will run up the stairs with a uh, very obvious telltale uh, powder explosion underneath my nostril. 
And if it's time, I will start. I will throw this bomb. Tell me where to throw it. I will indicate the spot that I believe is the best based on my knowledge, and I will key my free action to uh, to detonate because he'll because because it's I'm going to be turning it wireless on as he's throwing it. So hopefully there's not enough time to perceive and hack it. We'll see. I'll be defending it with my deck, so we'll see. Okay. Oh God. Oh, I'm so worried. Just because this thing's awkward, it's not designed to be thrown. I'm going to give you a minus two. Now, does my specialty and non-aerodynamic cancel that out? Yes. So you're rolling <laughs> your base. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. There's a part of me that's considering and just it, burning edge right now. And it's also an improvised explosive, so don't glitch. That's why I'm actually considering burning on this. <sighs> you know what? As I'm, I, I light the signal fires, Gondor calls for aid. I'm doing SmackDown. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. So you're burning a point of edge? Okay. This is this is kind of my, my, my way of saying I'm trying to overcome my desire to not harm cops because at this point I'm beginning to believe they are cops, but I don't know if there's any way to get out of this alive. So as my, uh, my, personal, my personal form of atonement, I will burn edge to toss this bomb. Okay. It makes it there. You see it fly through the air. The, the cops that, like, as your arm sticks out, you get a couple of pings of fire underneath it. It flies and hits almost exactly where Improv wanted you to, to put it. Improv, I'm going to need a timing check. So reaction okay. plus intuition here. All right, let's do it. Uh, I can't edge that, can I? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the only thing the only thing I say that you can't edge are edge checks. Mm, okay. It goes sailing right as it hits the wall. You set off the wireless signal as it explodes. <laughs> Go, go, go. And we charge. Yep. A maximum shock and awe coordination. As everything goes off, you, you see two people falling from up top, two more that get very quickly obscured by rubble. It's akin to Armageddon as the four remaining people begin shooting down on top of you. So whoever goes first, I'm going to need some dodge rolls. Uh, if you'll allow it, I'll, I'll suck up the uh, whatever they're throwing at us. Because I, I take it we're kind of going back into initiative now. Yep. Whoa, whoa, dear. Wow, that's a whole lot of hits. Yep. Well, I get plus one reaction for, for the Nova Coke, so that's going to help a little bit. Yeah. That's why you were supposed to let me go out first. <laughs> so I was going to draw their fire. Oh, this is yeah. SFA. Of course. Don't you have Nova Coke? Yes. Does not Nova Coke have high pain tolerance one? Yes, it does. So yeah, you wouldn't be under the effect of it. Oh, that's right. I like you. I knew I liked you for a reason. <laughs> Ouch. Base is 9p minus 2. So that would actually knock me out. Oh, you're still getting shot. <laughs> and remember, uh, when you're getting hit with stun, it takes two boxes of stun to make one physical. Yes. Is that 58 that I'm counting? Yeah, that's 58. Uh, what's your stun? Your stun uh, track? I had, I had three already, and my stun track is 10 boxes. So, so you're down to... You took 22 of that, so you have 36 stun. So you're down to 26. What's your physical track? 12? Yeah, body 7 will be 12. So you have 24 that you could take without bleeding out. So at 36, 26. So that'll be uh, 2 into overflow. Or 1 into overflow. Yeah, you're, t yeah, you're 1 into overflow. Yeah, you guys see Kennel go down. Nothing appears to pierce his armor. Okay. He has a lot of blood pouring out of his orifices still. So from what we can tell, their crossfire was not interrupted, correct? No. Because they still have an angle into the area. But that was all of them shooting. So two of you can go <laughs> without getting shot now. Uh, well, I'm on Kami, so I would I would move forward as well. But Horatio, did you want to go first? If, if you'll allow it. Yep, go ahead. Oh, boy. I'll be honest, that's the most amount of damage I've seen soaked without dying. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crap. I'm going to edge it if Roll20 decides to catch up here. There we go. And that's my limit, so, hey. Oh, uh, yeah, that's going to hurt a lot. But nobody shoots my, my brothers. <laughs> uh, so that's 12p plus 5? No, plus 6. So he's soaking 18 damage. Yeah. You fire off a... Wait, was that SFA or CFA? That was a CFA. Oh. Okay. My bad. So he has one success. So, either way, he's dead. <laughs> you fire off... Oh, no, no, this was... Was this Joe rounds? No, these are... These are hollow points. <laughs> See, despite using non-armor-piercing rounds that are even worse than regular rounds, 
You fire into this guy and you just light him up. Blood splatters out the back as as he immediately goes down. You know, while he's doing this, he's screaming, I'm avenging you, brother! <laughs> so either improv or Juliet. You would hear a frothy gurgling of blood coming out of my mouth. Uh, you can go if you wish, Julia. Uh, or, I mean, I mean I'd mean, i run forward as well. It's up to you. Yeah, I, uh, Julia can go. She dashed sure. forward to take half cover, then simple full auto at one of the other guards. Hey, there we go. She can keep all successes. Uh, he goes down as well. Now, as you step out following Horatio, who followed the heaping collapse of Kennel, that left a crack in the enamel. You shoot the guy up above the person that Horatio dropped. No blood splatter, but he goes down. Okay. So, Horatio and Juliet, you're both going to get shot at. Is fine. You both have to make a dodge, and that is without their crossfire. Are these simple full auto, or are these... Uh, uh, yes, SFA. Okay. I guess she will have to take full defense. Yeah, mine was as well. Both of you are still alive, so... That's all. Imp- improv? Well, I will move up, and uh, I, is there anybody who is not in cover, or are they all in cover? They are all in cover. All right, well, I will uh, take cover, and uh, then uh, shoot a dude. Let's see how this goes. Now, do you aim or take cover? I take cover, because they are going to be shooting back. So he takes 10 stun. That, that drops him. <laughs> nice. You blast him. You get walking up his body. As the last one hits his head, he stumbles backwards. Again, no blood splatter or anything, but he definitely looks like he's down. He hits with a really loud thud. That must be the one with the cyber deck. Okay, so either improv or Horatio. Uh, you, you can go Horatio, it's fine. All right, we're going to take aim and throw out a, a, an SFA. I get to keep all those. That feels good. I'm, I'm really happy you guys are finally getting some good dice rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Get in the doghouse! Yeah, the extra dice didn't help him much. All right, 17p. He still goes down. <laughs> Doghouse! You hit him. He lands with a sickening thud falling backwards. So what do you guys do? The last several seconds of intense fighting and loud collapsing noises followed by uh, the pinging of gunfire stopped. Is everybody all, down? All, all that you hear is the sound of the air circulation apparatus. Does does it happen to sound like any feces has struck this device? Uh, it is currently being flung across the room still. So, you know, 